Hi, Kipsters. It's Miss Hudson, and it is time for math. So yesterday, we started practicing with the high zero card. Today, um, we're going to keep practicing with that just to get more practice because it's just a little challenging, and it's, sometimes it can be confusing. And I want to make sure you guys understand it. So we're going to spend another lesson on just practicing um, how to use the high zero cards and how to write the numbers 10 through 19 with the high zero cards. Capiche? Capoosh. All right, guys. So the only thing that you'll need today is paper and pencil, laser focused eyes, and your listening ears. Are you ready? All right. Let's start. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is just go through the cards. So here's the number 10, right? And when we count on from 10, the next number that we get is 11, right? And when 11 shows up or 10, 1, what happens? That zero is hiding behind there and it never leaves, okay? It never leaves. It is still there. See that? The zero is still there. You see it peeking behind? Yep, it's still there. But... The one takes the place of it for now, all right? And then when we move on to 12 or 10, 2, the 2 takes the place of the 0. 0 is still there, but we now have 10, 2 or 12, all right? Let's move on. What's next? 13 or 10, 3, all right? You guys see that? One is there, the three is there, that makes 13. That's who's still hiding. Yep, zero's still hiding back there, but there's 13 or 10, three. All right, moving on. Uh-oh. Here's 10, four or 14, okay? Zero's still there, but there's 10, four or 14. What do you think is next? You got it. 15. There's 15. 1, 5. Guess who's still hiding? <gasps> Zero. It's still there. It didn't go anywhere. All right. Next. What do you think? Can't hear you. 10, 6 or 16. Okay. Zero still there hiding behind, but 6 is taking its place. And we're on the number 16, 10, 6, 4, 16. What's next? 17. Look at there. Zero still hiding, but seven is taking its place. 1, 7, 10, 7, 17. All right. Next up, 18. That shy zero is still there. But eight is taking its place. It's so shy. Eight is taking its place. 10, 8, or 18. And then lastly, there's 10. Nine is covering up that zero. It's still there. But it's 10, 9, or 19. All right? Great job counting with me using our high zero cards. All right? So now... Um, we'll warm up with the problem that I gave you guys yesterday. So I asked you guys to write the number 17 or 10, 7 using the picture just like this. All right. So I'm going to show you guys what I would have liked to see. And I saw some of you guys work your pictures. Thank you for trying your very best. All right. Let's go over to make sure that we are correct. All right. So the first box here. We need to have the number 10. So let's write, uh oh, make that bigger. Let's write our circles in to get to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10. The next one, we need to have a 7. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven. We're going to write the number seven there. So that zero is going to hide, and we're going to now have 10, 7, all right, or 17. Let's keep practicing with this, all right? Let's make the number 18, 
all right? The number 18, we're going to fill in 10 here. I'm just going to get a different marker. One second. Okay. We're going to fill in 10 here. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to write the number 10 here. Now remember that zero is going to hide and we need 18. So we're going to put eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to write eight there. And then we're going to write the whole number. It's 10, eight, or 18. All right. Next, we're going to do the number 16. We have 10 here. 10 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten there. And then we also need to put some here. How many do we need to put here? Six. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. The number six there. And when we put it together, remember that zero is hiding. So we're going to have 16. All right. Last but not least, and we are almost done, we're going to have the number 14, all right? As always, 10 goes in this spot. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to write the number 10 there. And then we need to put some here. We're going to put how many there for making 14 or 10 for? 4. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to write four there. And when we put it together, we have 14 or 10, four. All right, guys. So that was great practice for today. Tomorrow, we're going to keep practicing with the high um, zero cards. And then we're going to also add number bonds to this. So keep practicing at home. Keep counting. Count the say 10 way. Um, and make it fun. Count things around your house. Count the number of shoes you have. Count the number of socks in your drawer. There's so many things you can practice counting with the Say 10 way. Send us some videos and some pictures of you guys counting. See you tomorrow.